Hello, and welcome back to a playthrough of Exile, Exile from the Pit. I believe this is episode 50, which is pretty cool. Um, I want to do something a little special for this episode. But before we get to that, we are going to try to find uh, the mage known as X, who is uh, somewhere hidden in the tower. Uh, last time, we kind of just mainly tried to go along this east, uh, or let's see, western corridor and look for any secrets, um, but we didn't find, find anything, so uh, we're going to try to just continue on and see if we can find him. Um, I know it's a secret passage uh, somewhere, because it basically has to be. Um, and according to the guide, he should sell us level 6 spells, which are probably going to be pretty expensive, so we probably won't be able to actually buy most of them. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. So, uh, I, this is probably it. In fact, we need to check these, see if we can... Okay, nothing there. Might be something for us, nope. And that is probably him, okay. Let's read what this says. This is the Tower's Library of Esoterica. The books are obscure and dust and shrouded. You can't help but wonder where all the books came from. That is a very good question. Um, it's hard to believe they would be brought down from the surface, but um, I suppose it's possible. You see a strange man, middle-aged, calm and confident. He has a staff carved in the shape of a cobra. He nods to you. Welcome to my town. I am known as X. I am of the Triad. Mostly I teach, but lately I, I have been researching a new spell, which would make an anvil drop on someone's head, even from a long distance. It would be a wondrous spell. I wouldn't have a chance to find it without this library. Okay. Yes, powerful spells. But I've been busy lately and haven't had time to do any teaching now. He thinks. But wait, we could trade. I've heard rumors that somewhere in exile there is a man with a giant anvil. Find it, and it would be a great help in my research. I'll make you a trade. You tell me his name, and I will teach you spells. Okay. Uh, I did read what it uh, what it was. Um, is that actually right? Yeah, because uh, we already know who he is. Um, like we, we've already talked to him. I, I just didn't want to walk all the way back there. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, write, write, write his name down. So anyway, uh, so we have some pretty cool, cool spells here. Uh, to buy every single one would be uh, pretty expensive. That would be like, uh, let's see, 2,800 plus seven. So 3,500 gold. We actually have just enough gold to, uh, to, to do that, but we probably are not going to. Because, yeah, it's really expensive. But what I want to do is buy a few spells. And then what we're going to do for this episode is we're going to go hunt a demon. I don't recall what specific episode it was, but we went to the underground fort. And we went to a evil altar. We tried to take a goblet. And we got the goblet, but we also got a new friend. And that friend was not very, very nice. In fact, you could say that he kind of destroyed us. That was a long time ago. We are we going to go back, though, and see if we can uh, take him on. To do that, I think it would probably be wise to buy... Uh, we could buy Kiel. That's probably pretty good. It's pretty expensive, but it sounds useful. We could get Ravage en Enemy as well. But uh, the point being is that we can sell the Goblet for, like... Probably like a thousand gold, and then, and then we can use that gold to buy more spells. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this. Uh, yes. Very expensive. Probably the most expensive thing that we have uh, used yet. But we have this. It only has a range of six, but um, the demon probably won't be very far away. And then if we go back up here and we find the priest, 
I want to buy a uh, better healing spell. Because the problem with this fight is really the fact that all mages don't have that much HP. So when he does those attacks that like kind of hit everybody, there's a good chance that he could um he could kill us or, or kill one of our mages, and then you know that would be very very bad. So let's see if we can. Okay, I guess it's a wandering mage. Let's see, it might be this guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to buy anything too expensive. Uh, we are going to buy. Uh, we're we're going to buy this. Um, pretty expensive, but worth it. We have just enough in um, gold to buy something else. Uh, flame strike, maybe. Uh, Ravage enemy. Revive. I, I think this is good for now. I, I think this is uh, this is fine. So let's go ahead and save the game and let's uh, let's go do it. So of course this uh, this demon was um, very very tough. Um, nothing to how do we get out? There, there, there we go. Yeah, very very hard. Uh, he has a lot of attacks that do a lot of damage. And they can hit multiple people at once. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward until we get there because I'm kind of confused on how to actually uh, leave this place. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so I was gonna wait here and just get all mana back, but uh, it seems like the the nephew will just kind of show up uh, every like fifty tones or so and just kind of mess with us. So I think we're just gonna try it. I'm pretty sure this was the place. Um, obviously, we can we can interact with the auto kill, so I'm pretty sure this is right. Uh, what are we gonna do before we um, we actually? mess with the art. Well, we're going to cast Protection. Uh, we could do it on Sporky or Chungus. Um, it's kind of hard, 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 hard to say. Uh, protection gives everybody, I, I think, magic resistance and the target invulnerability, which uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. I don't, I don't know if that makes you immune to physical attacks and magical, or just like one. I'm not quite sure, but... Um, Sporky has a lot of resistance to file, so I think we're actually going to cast it on Chungus. And then if we go into um, combat and just cycle through. Autumn, uh, we could... Don't really need to cast anything with Hole, we can just defend. That's what we're going to do Major Blessing. And we're going to end save and interact with it. This altar is old and worn and radiates a strange grim aura. There is a nice gold goblet with jewels sitting on it. You now have a lovely goblet, obviously quite valuable. You also have a new friend and we are well acquainted with him because uh, we again, we got destroyed by him last time. But hopefully this time it will be different. Okay, that's not a bad way to start. Um, okay, our haste is gone. That's not good. But it could be worse.
Okay, um, let's do course. And you can just cast this again, I think. It's expensive, so maybe that's a bad idea. Okay, maybe just can't cast this instead. Yeah, because I think we're already... Are we blessed? Uh, well, no, we are course. So actually, cast that again. And everything looks good so far. Doing good da damage. Um, you can actually equip the arrows of light. And they... Okay, wow, that, um, 11 plus 31. Okay, um, <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what to say. I, I expected a bit more, um, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, like, really close, and it was going to be really epic, and I could put some, like, cool music to it. And this would be like a really cool thing to do for, for the 50th episode. But, um, we kind of just destroyed it. <laughs> it was a light. 11 plus 41. 42 damage. That is crazy. You, you must have got some good, good, good experience from that. You didn't level up, but anyway. Okay, so that's, that's actually it. Um... We got, we got a ring, we can identify that. And yeah, okay. I will admit, I am kind of disappointed. Um, la la last time it was like, such a, so much horror to, and it's like so much of a th more threat. And this time it just kind of got destroyed. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to uh, what to do. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll we'll probably just spin this up ep this episode. Um, yeah, we might die. Let's see here. Nope, we're fine. I probably should just kill him, but I I just don't want to. I I, I just don't want to. Um, okay, we we can actually go to Fort Dovno, which is pretty much just straight east. And we can identify um, this ring that we got, which could be pretty good. Uh, at least I hope so. <laughs> uh, be cool if it, if it was a ring of uh, skill. That would actually be really useful. Because a lot, lot of our characters are, are suffering from reduced AP um, because of the equipment that they were using. So, okay, let's see what it is. But yeah, that was over like really quick. I was kind of uh, kind of surprised. Okay, we can actually identify quite a lot of stuff. A jeweled goblet, nice, and a silver wing. Okay, we can sell that. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so arrows of light are really good. Um, definitely gonna save the rest of those for when we fight whatever demon is in the mage's tower. Or the Tower of the Magi. Uh, which we might be able to do relatively soon if we can... Um... Get Demon Slayer. Uh, might be a while though. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this stuff. Get some of our money back. Yeah, 1500 gold. That's very nice. Uh, we could sell this, I think. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, okay, cool. Now we can just head back to the Tower of Magi and actually uh, buy some more spells. So obviously we we bought a few. We bought like twenty uh, seven hundred worth of uh, spells, and that's only two 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 spells. So they're very expensive, but they're quite good. So, I should actually go in this way. Let's see if we can find a way back. That's probably going to be the hardest part. 
Uh, we we still don't have have enough gold to get all of them, but some of them we don't really really need to be honest. Um, at least not yet. I'm just not really really useful. Where are we going? <laughs> I think I took the long way, but that's okay. Is there a secret? I was literally just here. There we go. Okay. And we're back. That didn't take uh, too long. So we could buy um, some pre spills. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Start with those. Uh, but we don't need all of these though, like we, uh, we really don't, like... Uh, Major Heal, uh, could be good. Of course, we have Heal All, which is also very nice. Revive, you would think, would be good, but I'll be honest, if a character dies, I probably just want to reload the game. Uh, because you have penalties if you revive people, I'm pretty sure. A Ravage Energy, a Ravage Enemy, I think we're going to get that. Uh, Flame Strike, we'll buy that. And we'll buy that, yeah. Uh, the other stuff we'll leave for now. But uh, those are uh, pretty good. And let's just make sure, did we... Yes, okay. Okay, now we can go back to X and spend the rest of our gold on... Um, mage Spells. Uh, we already bought the most expensive one, but uh, there's a few more that we could uh, get. Okay. Major Poison is probably really good, but I'm not sure if we really need it though. Uh, we already bought this, and really what's left is Ravage Enemy and Group Fill. So, I would say group feel could be pretty, pretty good. Uh, ravage in enemy? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's take, take a look at what that actually does, because don't they have the same, yeah, ravage enemy? And then Petra also has a ravage enemy with a range of eight. This is with, uh, let's see. I'm curious if there are any differences uh, between them. What does Flame Strike do? Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, one target. Interesting. Uh, we haven't met anything that can petrify us yet, so we're not really gonna get 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 that. But it probably would be pretty useful. Um, okay. <coughs> I think we're gonna buy. Well, I mean, honestly, Major Poison probably isn't worth it, so I guess we'll get this. Okay, we are down to basically no gold, and, but we have a lot of, um, a lot of good spells now. In fact, really, we have most of the spells in the game. In fact, we basically have every spell except Major Poison, Shockwave, and Recharge. And then for our priest, we we don't have any of these. Um, well, maybe we have no. We don't have have any of the level seven stuff, which is fine. We'll get that in time. But yeah, okay. So uh, I'll, I'll I'll be honest. I um I didn't have a whole lot planned because I thought killing the demon would take a lot more work. <laughs> um. 27, that's not that high, actually. So, I'm not exactly sure what else to do. We kind of finished um, exploring the Tower of Magi, so we don't really need to do that. We, we, we could actually um, go in the Sinnel and see what that's about, because we initially did that... 
last episode, but I, I got kind of, uh, kind of scared because it just seemed like we uh, weren't supposed to be there. Like, I don't know, it just seemed kind of, um... Ooh, that's, that's a mistake. That's fine. Um, seemed, seemed like a bad, bad, bad idea. But... I think we should be able to at least use some of it. So let's try it. Let's try that. Obviously, we're not going to try to kill the demon yet because we don't have uh, we don't have de demon slayer. So probably would be kind of difficult to do. Okay, we've already been here. Yeah. Um, Yes, extreme potential and power. Okay, he's actually friendly, that's strange. That hurt a lot, actually. Okay, that was an imp. Okay. Not sure what that's about. Uh, secrets? Nope, okay. You walk up to the barrier, it sparks and sparks angrily at your approach. You raise the, okay. Right, we, we did that last time. That's what I think we're not supposed to do. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that key is probably to get to the main de demon, so we're not going that way, but let's see what's in here. Lava, okay. Let's see what's in here. It didn't work. Let's try it again. Darn. Okay, I guess we can't get past that yet, but uh, let's talk. Let's talk to this guy. You see a demon, tall and imposing. Fortunately, I'm not sure what that says. Uh, is kept from you by protective wounds. I is that his name? Your shell it. Okay. It's, okay. A uh, name. My name? If I gave away my name, I'd be in quite a fix, wouldn't I? Cool. Waiting for the heck I beyond to break his bond and blast you all? It will happen soon. Uh, blast bond. Okay, I'm not sure what else to talk to him, him about, but um... Anyway, this is uh, not exactly how I pictured this, this episode to go. I feel like it was not very, not as interesting as I would have liked, but that's okay. In anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you ne next time.